I mean, we're trying to be serious. Here. Yeah, no, but um, Reserve resolution. Time. He's going to play the pack probably. Yeah, and since we and we have a dazzle as well, so we have dazzle team shadow demon mirror. I want to say we to saw pick. that before. This team, where you just disrupt, then you Heal. kill bomb, and well, starfall and everything, which is pretty cool. Um, but anyways, we we've been seeing resolution play uh, pack really well. He plays pretty much everything really well. And we see some other guys like Bone Seven play Pack offlane a lot as well, mm -hmm. right, Lumi? Yep. Um, we see what, what do you think well. about? Yeah, Funny as well. What do you think remaining. about Pack played in the offlane as opposed to when you played remaining. mid? What different things does he bring to the table? Okay, so when a Pack goes mid lane, he's actually time. really good in terms of shutting enemy trialings down. Because mm -hmm. you hit your level six, you have a TP, and if there's a trialing versus trialing situation, you TP up there you get like a double, triple kill. And you run towards your dagger much, much quicker. Whereas the off lane puck, he's basically sitting there hoping his team will win the other lanes because he's generally not going to die. Mm -hmm. And then the team has Ten to create space for that puck. Farm the blink. I also think puck mid wins a lot of the time. Like there's very few heroes that can like completely zone out a puck. He has like good wave clearing to get the room control. Mm -hmm. He has the phase shift to dodge spells. I think he's... Hmm? One of the more solid meta. And what's with these Queen of Pain picks? It's I coming back. Puck. Well, Queen of Pain versus Puck is actually like one of the most even matchup there is. Ten mm -hmm. It's completely Remain. even. I think. I think Puck has the advantage. I think Puck has the advantage as well. Also, because you can Five disjoint every Remain. single spell. Like you can disjoint Scream of Pain, you can, you can disjoint the dagger. You don't go dagger against a Puck. You do. You, you can do. Fake it. Have you not seen those 1v1 tournaments? Well, I've seen them, and mostly it's just I go for the max scream of yeah, there's, no, no. there's one thing about Queen of Pain versus Puck. You can't actually dodge auto attack. Queen of Pain Team win. Liquid. Exactly. Yeah. So that's fine. Yeah, yeah. You, you don't use your. But uh, you have a lower range. Who does? It's Queen of Pain compared to Puck. Puck has a longer range than Queen of Pain. Well, the reason that BTS use Puck and Queen of Pain so yes. much in their 1v1 Who tournament. Does? Ten that they ask remaining. a lot of pros in terms of the 1v1 matchup which one is the most Radiant even team without team. being the same two heroes right and most of the pros says it was puck versus Quap because it has the highest skill cap basically it's the most it's, interesting to watch it definitely is very interesting this to watch wasn't it. working today so i will try it again it says 100 percent some oh no, nice. it works all right it must have been to do with the teams that were playing i don't know something weird Maybe just like the connection to the server died at the mid in the middle. I was just like fetching zero 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 Ten all the time. Ten seconds remaining. Uh, yeah. But this is in the whole game, though. This Five is right. yeah, 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 yeah. It's not in the lane. But mostly, like realistically, <laughs> when you see a pack, like it's only been recently that Pax and Queen of Pain are appearing in the off lane. Yeah. Mostly when these guys appear, were like a jewel in the mid lane. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I know what you mean. Like it's actually true that you can't. Uh, dodge any auto attack and you can actually Team like, okay throw a dagger pick. just so that he face shifts it and then you can jump and screen a fade in the, the puck yeah but it's like double the trade-off you know what i mean you use two spells to get something done well you're probably blinking into a raining riff as well and speaking of raining riff i might uh, i might imagine that puck is gonna this game max waning riff before maxing orb you want that yeah mm. uh, because against the weaver against queen of pain I mean, there is an argument of having Orb being a better harassment spell yeah. and farming so spell, lower cooldown and everything else. I think you leave the, the Orb in level 2. Five seconds the, remaining. You like one point in... Uh, you go 2-1-2 two, two, and then max uh, Waning Rift. Yes. That's waning Rift has more damage and no. 4 on 4 mana. They do. But for damage for mana, it's... No, it's, it's exactly the same damage. Yeah, but it's less mana. Uh, it's less mana. So, but it has way smaller area of effect. Of course. Yeah. Of course. And the final pick is going to be an Avadon. So we have a very kind of, um, I would say kind of a 4 protect 1 kind of thing going from Liquid because Queen of Pain can actually be a carry, but it's going to be this four guys, except the Weaver, just trying to pick off fights, mm -hmm. just trying to create chaos. None of these heroes are particularly good pushers, um, but they will be able to get pickups and just fight it. K killing two or three in a team fight, they will be able to take towers uncontested. I don't think Queen of Pain's that bad as a split pusher. I think she's actually not terrible. Like, you can nuke down the waves and push okay. Like, as yeah, far. but that's just like one hero. Ten yeah. seconds remaining. And the, the thing, like, when we talk about pushing and counter pushing, Five we normally talk about remaining. counter pushing in terms of how fast you can kill creep waves and pushing how, ca how fast you can kill buildings. Okay. 
Uh, I don't know. I, mean, I, 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 I think pushing is how fast you can kill creep waves as well. Yeah. Especially if you're on your own, like you're split pushing. But like, for example, okay. okay. Scream of Pain helps push and counter push. There are spells like Diabolic Edict that are specifically for pushing and not for counter pushing. Okay. I, I have a much different uh, measuring metric, if okay. you will. When I say a hero is a good split pusher, it's how fast they could push and how safely could you could yeah, do it. Yeah, the escape. It doesn't matter if you could push. Oh, well, like, but then we're, then we're talking about split pushing, which is a specific okay. subcategory of yeah. pushing. And then in terms of how well you could defend, mm -hmm. it's not just how fast you could kill a creep wave, but how far you could do it from the creep wave. Jakiro has two nukes that could blow up creep wave, but you literally have to be next to the creep wave. So, not too good. But looks like we're going to see offensive trialing coming out from Team Liquid. Not surprising. There's no. no. It hits. Oh, Jimmy. Come on, Jimmy. Bye-bye, Jimmy. Lesson number one for playing a bad end. You can't go in the front because you have the defensive spell for a team. <laughs> That's like yesterday. Who was it that went first? Like, Jotam Earthshaker. Oh, uh, Earthshaker. Earthshaker, yeah. yeah. I remember mistakes well. <laughs> you do. The, the Disruptor actually had a turn in that case because he was facing the left and he had to turn all the way around to attack to cancel the sleep. Yeah. That's what it takes a while. Yeah. Anyways, free. Um, this scream begins. is not starting very well for Liquid, I guess. Empire, they definitely are not playing this as a scrim. No. They no. want to win this. If they win, they're next to C9. They see the, the war being placed immediately there. It's oh, pretty sad. I have that set. We're well, passing a jelly, boy. Don't be jelly. <laughs> <laughs> they be jelly. Koiva doing the nice um, block. And it's going to be a Shadow Demon Mirana move against the Queen of Pain. And what do you think about that, Dumi? The lane is lost, man. <laughs> what a quap. Yeah, it's pretty sad. I mean, you could in dare you say, hey, oh, you no. can't blink out of an arrow if it goes like that. Yeah. I mean, they're not going to kill Koifa here, but it's going to burn us out. I mean, by the judge, uh, the fact that he's saving gold, he's not going to get a quick bottle. Does he we have to ferry us uh, more regen if that happens again? Well, you had if it that, happens again, you? I would buy a TP and just die to neutrals. <laughs> and TP okay. back. Honestly. It's pretty dark. Well, I say that, like, right now would be a good time to do it, but if he gets up to 300 gold, then maybe fair fairy out. But the, the correct thing to do is actually have a bat in here. Yeah, because... Because exactly. Aphotic Shield will actually take you out of the sun, and so Koifa could farm a lot more aggressively now. Zap! Mm. Mm. A lot of things. I was actually watching yesterday, uh, there was a thread on Reddit about dispellable stuns and super dispellable stuns. It's like there are two categories, things that can be dispelled. And thing that can be dispelled by super dispels, which are, for example, the Avaron Shield, yeah. okay. which also removes stuns. And a uh, Legion Commander heal. A Legion Commander heal. And there are quite a few, actually. I just want to say, like, calling them dispel, regular dispel and super dispel is just so confusing. It is. I, I don't know what it means, really. The thing is, like, for Dota, there's just no hard and fast rule to say, ah, oh, dispel is dispellable and dispel is not. No. It's just all by memory. Yeah, it which is. is pretty dumb for beginners and newer players. But Dota, there was like buff placers and pl all these other orb things. Effects. <gasps> yeah. Orb effects and buff placers. Yeah, it was Two different things. so ridiculous. And you could have an orb, play an orb effect and a buff placer if you're a ranged hero, yeah. but not if you're a melee hero. Because in melee, buff placers are orb effects. Yeah, it's the same. It's a like camera dominator. Or oh, the scattered. other way around. I don't even remember. Yeah, it's ranged. It's I remember at one point you could have feedback ah. on your illusions <laughs> and... No, wait. You can still do no, that. No, no, yeah, you can still do that. But you could have in your... Okay. Oh. Arrow. Is there a shield? No, there's no he, shield because he is the guy with a shield. And he shields himself. And looks like they're going to go on SD. SD with a haste rune, so he should be fine. Yeah. Maybe if Demon turned in and, and gave him a mist coil with the burst, maybe they actually could have brought him down. With but, the shield pop, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so basically what this means here with a bat in the mid lane is that the bottom lane that they have originally wanted to dive towers with can't do that anymore. Oh. So, I mean... In terms of passive harass, one side has uh, the arm, or sorry, Lunar's Blessing. And you can see that Silent is actually leveling up Lunar's Blessing. They have the range advantage, they have the nuke advantage. So it's, it's weird to say that, you know. Oh, I could have gone there, but didn't want to risk it. He could have blinked and scream. He had leap, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he could have gambled it. No, no, if you blink and scream, your scream will chase after the leap. But if you disrupt them, it will. I remember that the, the blink has a cast animation. Yeah. I mean, it's actually slower on Queen of Pain. Oh, oh that nice, nice arrow. arrow. Yeah. If you didn't arrow there, mm. disruptor. Sorry. He still has self disruption, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it would have been okay. Maybe not. I mean, Queen of Pain blinks then, you just put a shield on them, and Queen of Pain just gets to chase for free. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's actually like this matchup. 
The 2v2 mid is quite skill based. Mm -hmm. Actually, did you. Um... Hi, I'm... Oh, I was gonna say something that was relevant and it completely went off my mind as I saw that. Fate. Wow. I'm sorry. Sorry. It's okay. It's gone. <laughs> it's not coming back. No, oh, wait, I can't do this. Yeah, I, I can help you. There you go. Oh, I wanted to say, yeah, remember, um, the cast point in Queen of Pain for the blink is actually slower than Anti-Mage. Yeah. Anti-Mage has, I think, 0.5 cast point, so half a second until he blinks. Queen of Pain is 0.6, or it's 0.4 and point... No, it can be, it can be a little bit less. It's like 0.65. Yeah. Dyer's top like tower is under 0.5 and 0.65. Does, uh, I'm pretty sure Queen of Pain's blink works the same as um, Blink Dagger as well, if you don't blink the correct distance. You have to turn around. Yeah, that happens with every spell. Spells that are pointed towards something, your hero has to be looking that direction. No, no, as in, if you don't blink the full distance... If oh, it goes, no, doesn't go as far? Yeah. I believe that's okay. Yeah, it is. Definitely. I don't play a lot of Queen of Pain. The other thing that you have to be worried about <laughs> if you're playing Queen of Pain, and the difference is uh, between a Blink Dagger is that when you see Queen of Pain blink, you could tell what direction she's blinking by that after Radiant image blur. Whereas for Blink Dagger, you don't know exactly where they're blinking to. Yeah, I actually says it on the tooltip that... Yeah, you don't blink as fast as yeah. if you go past the thing. But in Dota, sometimes the tooltip is not always correct as well. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's uh, Dota's one of full those. of lies. We don't know what's true. Wait. And I mean, when we talk about how this is all like so arbitrary and someone might be just joining us for Dota 2, like they nev maybe they never played Dota 1. The reason is because most of the spells, the way it worked in Dota 1, they were like all adapted from spells from Warcraft 3. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you just pick one spell that was the closest thing that what you wanted to do, mm -hmm. and you started from there. And in Warcraft 3, spells, individual spells had Denied. properties, like Denied. can be dispelled, cannot be dispelled, blah, blah, blah. So maybe you used a spell that was really similar to what you wanted to do, to use a normal, to, to become this normal spell, Dyer's and because that spell that you used couldn't be dispelled by these spells. How did he, he know he was there? Yeah, I, so. yeah, he's just no, he's just scouting. I don't think he saw him. How many times did you say spell? I don't know, spell, spell, or dispel. Yeah, can I, I, I can spell spell. It's S P E L L. The lane arrow is gonna hit. So catch on top. Bye bye. So and bye. demon nowhere in sight. No. Is dead. Nice. So the mistake in there is the communication between demon and Koifa. When Koifa does not see demon in nearby shield distance, there's no way you could ever expose yourself to a disruption distance. Mm -hmm. uh, same thing, Demon should not leave Koifa without communicating properly. By the way, I just want to point out that you were talking about the offlane pack and you were completely right, it's not that you were wrong, but the fact that they just went in this very weak laning against Mac, he means that six minutes in, he's level six, and if he wants to rotate around and get a kill, he can easily do it. He's also going for phase boost, the book. Andy, oh. would, not and be Andy, happy. Andy would not be happy with that. Mag, man. I think it's, want. it's also to do with winning the lane, like, more heavily. Yeah. I mean, Batrider, there's basically zero kill potential against uh, Puck. Look, look at that yeah. beautiful stack in the young. Yeah, Puck is one of those only heroes where you don't care if you have 10 stacks on you. Yeah. I mean, until it's Denied. level 6. Yeah, yeah. But I'm actually quite curious about Boba's one random Sages mask. It's just like... Normally yeah, you don't think about needing mana regen, but he's gonna pick it up. Okay. Maybe, yeah, well, not Medallion, maybe like an urn, just for a little bit more damage. Or maybe he's gonna go for a very late uh, Orchid. Why do you see? have a Radiant Vision on? I just like to have uh, Radiant versus Dire Vision, sometimes I go to Dire. Because you see more interesting things. Yeah, that's true. You see the vision and stuff. Hmm? Yeah. Resolution, invisible. Invisible. It's going to try and find Bulba. Since Puck is there, if Puck gets a Dream Call, he can get a free kill. He might find something else though, because Visage is always, it's also there. Uh, uh, he's scout Bulba, he knows where he is, he's gonna stand next to him. He can burst him. Did Bulba Maybe. smell him? No, 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 no. He couldn't have. You know, just watching Team Liquid twice today and yes, yesterday once, mm -hmm. I don't remember once the last time Team Liquid won the early game. It's harsh. I mean, no, 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 I'm just not saying. Uh oh, oh, they found <laughs> resolution. There's the Dream Coil, there's the GP rotation, yeah. Resolution still can't use the arrow. He's gonna start for... No Beautiful right. shield. Great TP by Demon yeah. uh, coming in to save. I mean, basically what uh, what Boba did, he was running back and forth, dodged the arrow. Mm -hmm. And Marana just kept on right-clicking him, arrowed him at the end, which actually hit. 
Uh, but Demon came in, shield and healed, and that was it. So, showing off the power of Baden. But going back to my question, I'm not trying to be mean, just... What, what, honestly, when was the last time a D, uh, Liquid won the early game? Well, the problem is I have a hard time recalling what was, like, in the Dream League last time Liquid won, and I think it was versus... I remember they had a Slark. Was, was, no, 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 that was some other team. Was it versus EG that they won, actually? No. The MYM. Oh. Or Sigma. And if they, will, if they won versus MYM, they lost the early game. Yeah. That's true. Because that's what MYM does. Well, well, that was their old roster. The old MYM. The new MYM is just... So it's what? <laughs> yeah, the, the problem is, like, it seems like the way that TC draft, he drafts oh, quite mid-game centric. Yeah. And if you lose it early oh, game... Oh, the arrow is gonna not hit. Uh oh, oh he gets the scream. <laughs> he actually misses Soul Catcher, and uh, Nirana is not going to be able to chase there. Yeah, he's got Blink. He can even turn back if uh, Koifa wants to play a little bit brave. There is a attack. level 3 Star Storm. Don't want to blink into that one. Are nope. fortified. In the meantime, there's a push going on at the bottom. Luna is forcing the Blink. And Vansko is now going to chase that uh, Avadon. But Avadon dispels with his shield and just walks away. Uh, please. No, no, it's, this is, I just wanted to see. Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. Yeah, the Radiant gets the first tower, and there's the initiation. It's going to be an arrow again on Koiva. Koiva must be tired no. of getting arrow every single time. Another put down. I mean, it's one thing to say that, it's the other thing is you, you know that's going to happen. Don't get disrupted. Don't get disrupted. Yeah. It's that easy. I mean, yeah, you're going to lose farm and you're going to lose experience, but it's better than dying, right? One of the biggest advantages they have is they have a Radiant Ward on the high ground, so it allows Disruptor to always be able to see uphill. Mm -hmm. And uh, the Dire does not have their exactly. own ward uphill, so they don't see Jack. Mm -hmm. They can't see Jack at all. Nope. Um, Scream of Pain does not hit invisible units. It does. It does. It does yeah. But it doesn't hit fogged units. It does. It does, it does as well? I've killed... Both, I think. On okay. okay. It's everything, man. It's everything. But you can blink and disjoint it. You can you can walk away from it. No, yeah, but it will get you. You cannot blink this one either. It hits everything, man. It no, hits it, everything. See, can, like, that's one of those spells. You can four star. Like, nope. nope. I'll follow it. Follow you. Oh, no, it's the... Uh, you no can phase it. You. you could get off the map. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That will dodge it. Or disrupt yourself. I always get compu confused between Sonic Wave and Scream of Pain, actually. Because in Heroes of New Earth, it was called, the ulti was called Scream, I'm pretty sure. Was it in Heroes of New Earth that the ulti had a slow to it? It added the dagger effect. Right. So okay. If okay. But looking at top, if TC eats a waning riff, he's Dyer's dead. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. If he... Oh, oh, no, here we go. We're going to see Silent getting Lasso straight up. Advance score is going to be there for the Grave, and they have Eclipse. If they want to use it, the birds, as well as a big flame break, canceling that TP. I'm surprised he didn't go for his... Uh, the Eclipse? Yeah. 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 There was no creeps. I mean, he, he had seven magic wands, so... Dyer's top could have popped it for under attack. Attack. It's only four. You're kind of relying on, actually... Having the Jesus. four or three hitting on the same guy, otherwise he wouldn't kill anyone. And Eclipse has a fairly long cooldown at early levels. So. I mean, it's not a big loss, he's gonna be farming anyways. Oh, mid lane. Demon? They wanna kill Demon, dead. but... No, he's got the shield! Demon gets a kill, man! Explode anyways. Explode, but got the shield. Alright. <laughs> okay, so a little bit of uh, overextensions here and there from Empire. Tower. They're still getting the attack. towers. Dyer's so they have to be somewhat happy. Fallen. The gold and the experience is still looking in their favor, I think. Yeah, it is, yeah. Well, not the experience. But the gold is almost 5,000 now, and that's... Cash. I mean, cash, 12 minutes into the game, is a lot. I wouldn't mind 5,000 gold. <laughs> yeah, just straight up. Yeah. Yeah, they have a, they have a blink puck now with raining rift, so your quap, uh -oh. as well as your weaver. TC might be in a lot yeah, of weaver trouble. weaver straight up is dead. He has a Midas recipe, that's not going to do him any good. Bottom tower is under is attack. he dead? He's straight uh, up no, dead. No, he is dead. What? What? what, uh, what? Uh, um, uh, he didn't dream coil either. US East, I guess? I guess. I don't know if that's US East or not. I can test it. Minus ping. Yeah, where's the... Minus here? Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Yeah, you assist. Uh, yeah, it's assist. Yeah, you assist. Kind of hurts if you're playing from Europe East. It gives you somewhere between like 250 and 400 ping. Yeah, it's pretty Depending crazy. how bad it is. So I mean, that was a pretty big deal. That was the first Blink Dagger gank. Uh, they survived it. Also, Koifa is going to be going for BKB straight. It's not exactly a good item, but you have to oh, kind of do it. Silent. Game. They're surrounding him. 
I mean, he's gonna have the tower, but... Oh, he gets revealed from the back. Back blink away? No? Uh-oh. That's also probably USDs. That's also probably USDs. I mean... The Batrider's actually been extremely effective so far. Like, every time he's gone gank, he's got five assists. Yep. And now they're going to just, like, siege that tower. Silent and Vanscore are there, but they know they're there because they have a ward. They actually see Vanscore, and now Vanscore says, Oh, give me okay, that 50, 50 gold. I really love uh, having a score like Batrider. Zero, zero, five. It's like, I'm such a team well, player. You're licensed to kill them yeah. if you're a double O. That's true. Well, you need two more. No, no, no. Double O agents were licensed to kill. Yeah, but you want to be seven. Like, who wow, wants to be you five? You don't Radiant's even get a part in the movies. I think six attack. was in a movie, but he was he got killed. Which one do you want to be? Like, do you want to be Roger Moore? You don't want to be Roger Moore. No, who wants to be Roger Moore? Rosnan. I kind of like Sean Connery. I think Sean Connery is pretty yeah, good. But that's, he has that's the accent. Just as a cow. Initiation there. This wraps up the arrow is going to hit all the visage. What a tank. Yeah, I'm surprised. What if I didn't blink in? I think the, that. having the Avaron against the Shadow Demon Mirana is very, very annoying. I mean, that's provided that you're there to shield, right? Yeah, but like, you just chase the Mirana around. That's all you have to do. Well, has not been doing that. He has been doing that. The only time he didn't do it was with the... Oh, <laughs> like, holy shit. No, 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 sorry. Uh, you're talking about Shadow Demon? No, protecting I'm saying, Murano or Abaddon uh, protecting, Abaddon protecting everyone. Yeah, Abaddon, well, Abaddon ran and took it, except he didn't take it. Um, Shield was on. He's actually gonna die as well. They're chasing him down. Yeah, Lasso's gonna come in, but they lost two heroes already. They really need Sonic Wave. They do have the Soul Assumption. They are gonna get a Gale. Vanscore running straight out. Yeah, well, losing, losing a new Luna second time. Two for one, and oh, arrow. the arrow is not gonna connect. I really actually like Queen of Pain against Empire's Drafts because they they're also squishy. Like they have all attack. really squishy heroes. Yep, that's true. I mean, Queen of Pain has a lot of burst. Okay, Vansker is being manly against Bulba. No, he's blink. This time, no USC is there. But they don't get a kill. Yeah, and Vansko is gonna get hit by a million because that's how much damage it does. You come see me because they're on cooldown. The birds are on cooldown. Blink away, baby. Oh, no. new birds. No. He actually survives. Yeah, yeah, he's cool. I'm he's surprised he didn't shadow strike him. Hoping yeah. that the poison take would be enough, Radiant like when he TBs back in the fountain. Great group off here. Comes oh. the mid lane. Sonic Wave's gonna get the kill. Resolution. Oh, no leap. Does have, no, he does not have leap. He's gonna take. Oh, there's some region and root. Not gonna do yes. much against the poison, though. Arrow will hit. But one more scream should do it. He will scream. And he will get the kill. Get the <laughs> Mid lane here, big flame breaker by Wow. The clips are gonna do much here as everybody's tanking up, and Koifa just well triple kill, gain themselves to come back. Sort of them squishy heroes. No, no, sort of. This actually is a, a comeback, and they spot the ancient stack, and that's huge. I think. Yeah, I mean this particular attack. lineup. If you look at Empire, they don't really have true lockdowns. Like they have an arrow as well as raining rift and a coil, yeah. and those three are the only spells. That could actually slow down Queen of Pain. Well, this was all happening as well. TC is just farming away. Yep. Yeah, and he has that Midas. And what, this, what else does he have? What's he bringing? Treads. Treads. Okay. And a Wraith Band. I bring Vaquilla. But, like, even though they spotted the ancients, like, Radiant how can they quit killing me? No, they can't. I was trying to think of, like, weird ways they could do it, but, like, no. Maybe dominate. No. Oh. Way too sexy. Nearly has Agonims. Yep. He's 4 0 oh, 3. Hasn't died. Has been in all the kills. And Dem the question is okay, so here's the thing. You look at the gold. It's 2000 ahead for Empire of Initiation on Shadow Demon. Shadow Demon is going to self disrupt himself. No, so no he's the trying to do something to disrupt him. He accidentally used the TP scroll. I think what he wanted to do was disrupt the TP, the TP but it wouldn't have worked regardless. Flame break. Yeah. Out of the shield, it's just going to be quicker. Um, I think he can do it actually. I mean, Disrupt only takes him away for 2.5 seconds and your TP is 3 seconds. Definitely could cast Flame Break in half a second. What I was going before that was that even the, the, the goal difference is only 2,000. Most of it is for the Visage and the Vat Rider. That's not the difference in gold that's make, going to the Queen of Pain or the Weaver, which are I here mean, can actually make a difference. Oh, Rider. Oh. I think I it's that though, farm. Queen of Pain just got a triple kill. We yeah, haven't joined any fight as a Midas. So look, I, look at the net worth. Look at the net worth. I mean, the net worth doesn't look good uh, for TC as well as Koifa, but they're all actually quite balanced.
Except for Demon, like everybody is, is fairly rich. I mean, uh, you're, you're talking about TC, a Weaver that was pretty much uninterrupted throughout most of the game, with the Midas. Yeah. It's 0 and 0 and 0, hasn't died. And then on the other side, you have a Luna that died twice, I think. Yeah. And it's almost double. But it's more what, what they can do with the farm. Like, Weaver needs a lot of farm. Luna only needs, like, a BKB and a Yashu. Then it's even worse. Because what you're saying is that Luna, that has a lot of farm, that needs little farm to be yeah. active, what we're saying is actually the advantage for Empire is bigger than the gold graph would indicate. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay. I also think that the liquid lineup probably le needs less item to be a as effective as the Empire lineup. Except for TC. Except for TC. I mean, even for TC, because Empire lacks so much lock, so little Radiance lockdown, top tower is under like, attack. Weaver, if he's not completely focused in the beginning of the fight, and even if he is, should Demon be there with that Fodder Chill, they should be able to help him out. So, I could see this game being able, uh, having TC just completely ran rampant in one of these team fights. Is this one of these games where you do not go BKB on Weaver? I, I, don't, think th I don't think you need it. Well, if Demon's on point, the only thing that's going to stop you is the silence or the arrow from Shadow Demon, like the disruption into arrow. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can't expect Demon to always be there. I, I think you do go BKB, and that's, I mean, at least quite fast going BKB. Oh, okay, so the, if you get a Lincoln's in, instead of a BKB, there's like... Lincoln doesn't block Raining Rift. Yeah. But it does block the... Shadow Demon. Did it do enough damage within the Raining Rift time? The, it's not really the Raining Riff or the Puck that actually kills you, it's just the Raining Riff and you can't do anything and the rest of the team kills you. So, I mean, it's very easy for Raining Riff, you should purge it to pop your Lincolns, if you have Lincolns, and then you just disrupt into an arrow. Like, that's a very easy line for uh, Empire to set up. Yeah. Puck has got his BKB now. And Volva has both um, Link Dagger and Force Tough, so, and a DD rune. The Rune of Destiny. Dyer's middle the Rune tower of Destiny. Is under I like the Rune of Destiny, but now I feel that we need names for all the other runes. Dyer's structures the Rune of are fortified. So, well, uh, the illusion is... Jump. Oh, the, illusion? No, the Shadow Demon gets the jump. Is this correct? He might be. Yeah, yeah. If they do it on anyone else, Shadow Demon's going to disrupt them. Yeah, here we go. Silent's going to have Dyer's Eclipse. If he wants to fight it, he's going to go right on here. Oh, here comes the BKB and the Eclipse. The ultimate's going to get turned on and bad and tanking all of the shields. Vanscore forced to grave himself, but he's going to straight up die to TC, who's going to be on cleanup duty IO3. Oh, Invis! And does not hit, but the Moonlight Shadow ends on the back line here. It's going to be Mag missing his coil straight up. He's going to blink out. So I guess... Oh, okay. What a play. But Silent out of BKB. KB though. And Can they uh, chase? So assumption? They have no damage. Chase. They definitely could chase. And they have the shield as well. Arrow of Destiny. No. Okay. And the shield's gonna break soon. TC's like saying, please let me get the kill. Don't let the shield break before that happens. Nice. Ooh, the shield's gonna break right there. Purge is gonna be used to Kuchi chasing. Silent's gonna go down. Oh, oh. He's gonna take him down with the Meanwhile on the back line. It's gonna be quite far to kill himself a kill. He's got the blink to get himself out as well. Long arrow! It's gonna blink? No, it doesn't okay. connect. Close. It's close. But again, Liquid in favor in this exchange. Yeah. Uh, but the gold's still going in Empire's difference. I think that's mm. fine. Yeah. Because um, if you look at the item progression for Team Empire, they're getting all the items to win now, right? The BKB on the... Uh, on the Luna, the drums on Mirana. You could say the same for Liquid with the BKB on Queen of Pain, though. No, well, the, the, I guess you can. Yeah, yeah it's can. the same argument. There's also a BKB up on Weaver very soon as well. Which is a game losing item. <laughs> but I, I, to me, I think Liquid has better, better late game. You just need to survive. Like, their heroes are just so mobile. Can you actually say you have better game late game when you have only one core? Like a real core, and Queen of Pain has some late game if you can it itemize her to Yeah, win. like yeah. a Desolator or an Orchid or yeah. something like that. But the Luna with the Glaives, I mean, the, the ability for her to just like wreck a whole team, if she doesn't get lasso. Lasso. Especially with Shadow Demon. I think if you can combine them heroes, like you can't actually focus down the... Okay, the they see Koikva, and they arrow, they do arrow, they... Uh -oh. Oh, oh, the damage. Yeah. Wow. That hardly hurt at all. That's a longer arrow than I expected. And she has, like, no base armor, so... What do you think of Dazzle's skill build, where he hasn't learned his ultimate at all? He hasn't learned Weave. Ah, uh, yeah, huh, indeed. I, I disagree with that. Especially with an item when you have uh, Mirana and Luna. 
I need them puck. They, yeah. they right click. I don't want to question advanced score. Like, yeah, that's the thing. I'm a fanboy. This doesn't look like the correct skill build because I do think you want to max Grave in a game like this where there's so much burst damage. Maybe his logic is he has a cosmetic desolator, so he already has minus armor, <laughs> so he doesn't actually need the wave. Well, it's not AOE minus armor. Right. Mm. No, it's a plus armor for the team. No, wave is too good. At least you have a point. Maybe you put it level 10. I think having but a point just for the sight alone. He is level 10. Yeah, 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 that's the thing. I get 10, 11? 10, 11. Right. And here's the thing, right? When, when they drop a weave on you, I don't know what level it is. I guess you click and, like, see how fast you your armor takes down. Yeah. And, yeah. No, but honestly, in a team fight, if you see weave on you, you're like, shit, we're running. Yeah, you set the panic, like, Yeah. because it does, it does uh, affect you quite heavily. Maybe that's what he wants to do, just mind games. Just, like, get it at level 11, and people say, oh, shit, this is level 2 weave. <laughs> it's actually level 1. No, T I don't know how that TC helps. seems like the kind of guy that would count. Like, he'd be like... Maybe. Rune of Destiny again, this time of resolution. But it's it's kind of liquid. Do you want to find someone? Oh, oh my god! Oh, so close. He's got BKB. No, he didn't. He didn't have BKB. Alright, Bruno, you want to name all the runes? Yeah. Okay, what's haste? Swiftness. Okay, there was a random dust popped there. Uh, haste is... Are you gonna be boring and be like rune the of rune speed? of many legs? Rune of many legs. That's yeah, like, too long. It's okay, multiple leg rune, or M L or. I invite people on Twitter to maybe suggest stuff. Okay. At DH Dream League or hashtag. What about Dyer's illusion? Rune of deceit. Uh, um, Radiance middle tower is under attack. Or is that invisible? Rune of Kagebunji no Jutsu. <gasps> I'm dead with this Forbidden guy. Jutsu. Dyer's top tower. The birds fun. and the weaver alone, like just forced glyph and multiple TP. Here comes a blue oh, arrow. That's oh, could he ran straight into it. He's got time lapse and BKB. He might have to use it here. Longer. He's so bad. Yeah. No so BKB. Dumb. Meanwhile, Pegasus. He's on the run. Pops us all. Nobody's gonna hit him. Straight up TP. It's gonna get cancelled. Oh, they use two. Uh, use dream core and it's fine. It's fine. Kill secure. Meanwhile, Koi is doing what he can just to push the bottom tower. Hopefully you don't lose too much structure. Always wanna fly, just like... <laughs> oh, this is pretty scary! These birds are gonna kill me! The birds is gonna uh, get him dead! I mean, can you for the team, right? Yeah, it was... The birds, why they're not stunning? Oh, they're all on cooldown. They lost two birds for that. Mio Koifa, though, still getting that tier two? Radiant Making the plays, man. Making the plays. And now, initiation on Manscrow, I'm not sure this is a good idea. He, of course, has everything. Mech, Shelver. He can do whatever he wants. Got the bird though. The bird's gonna start. Oh, hit him. Oh, it's fine. Now resolution change. Oh, bye bye. bye. And silent security. Okay, Murano's got 5.4k gold. The hell is she gonna buy? What's she? Butterfly? No, you just go Dagon. Straight up. I always wondered this. Why not go Dagon 5 instead of uh, Divine Rapier? Like, is it not as good and less risk? What? Uh, not really. No, you can't. I mean, it depends on the hero, right? Target, right? Yeah. Like, I mean, what you're saying, like, instead of going take gyrocopter. Okay, gyrocopter is a ridiculous example. Right. I mean, Luna. Luna bounces. Like, well, Ember Spirit. Normally, you go rapier on heroes that can actually hit many heroes. Yeah, but Weaver. Okay, yeah, Weaver would be an example that maybe Dagon would be okay. What? Weaver hits too. You get a double, but double you, hit. you still do more damage with the, the the Dagon. I mean, yeah, for that one hit, you don't you don't assume that you only get one hit off, right? Right. Right. Okay. So okay, point disproven. Okay. You sit in the vent for one minute. I'm very curious what Moran is getting. Yeah, I love when Luvi, Luvi, when he gets engaged in this, it's normally on the third game of the day. He gets very engaged in the game and he just starts walking and looking at the previous screens, which granted are like 40... Moran is getting Lincolns, by the way, Lumi. Oh my uh, god. Uh, is it Lincoln though? It is Lincoln. Yeah, it is Lincoln. It's full Lincolns. I mean, considering the fact that he's been playing so well without items, getting Lincolns is like no difference. Right. You're not getting an item, I guess. You can use it on uh, Luna though. You definitely can. And all of a sudden, Batrider is like, uh oh. That's actually legit. I guess. Anyways, Resolution, the playmaker, he's 6 1 and 3, 94 CS, 11,000 gold in net worth. And he's going to try and find something. He only will find birds, apparently. Uh, I but think maybe there's a way to, to be had. I think Always Wanna Fly was the one that set up most of the kills. He just doesn't have as a pretty score. Yeah.
But that's the life of the Shadow Demon. It's really hard to actually get kills with the Shadow Demon. Leave, living in the shadows, let, let Miranda take the line. Yeah. Like that guy from Saint Seiya, that was a fighter, that he had actually his brother fighting for him. Because, and from he, what? Saint Seiya, it was like an old um, anime. And there was this uh, warrior that was really good, but he actually had a brother that lived in the shadows and helped him fight. But he could never reveal himself, no, not even to his brother. Basically. So that's the shadow demon. He lives in the shadows of yeah, Mirana. Yeah. Okay. In the moonlight shadows. In the moonlight shadows, yeah. Of course. And he gets carried away. Okay, so Butterfly is pretty much finished on Silent as well. Mm-hmm. Damn, look at this yeah. farm. Then all of a sudden, like, TC and the birds kind of stop doing deeps. Well, for now, once the MKB comes on, TC yep. is back on deeps duty. Also, once Hex comes online for a crop, Queen of Pain. Crop? Crop. crop. Once Koifa gets his uh, hex. And what does Bulba do? He's going for a. Um, he needs BKB. A BKB. But a BKB Radiant's is not going to stop the Lincoln from attack. stopping his ultimate. No, I mean, if you're le legit and Boba is legit, you blink in, you force to proc the Lincolns, you lasso, and you just. And you Dyer's walk back. You walk back. But the, the problem here is, is the fact that you also have to deal with disrupt. Or Radiant's top tower. Yeah. Purge is gonna prevent that walk back plan. Disruption is gonna prevent that walk back plan. This is where you need, you know fallen. what? Like, if you're playing against a Shadow Demon and you have a Bat Rider, you fifth pick an Omni Knight. And Dyer's you repel the target and you lasso him. Attack. So hmm. they can't disrupt him. Yeah, he's still Purge. Well, that has such a sh poor cast range. Take a Sith. Hmm. Did it disrupt the. Uh... Silent and send No, they can't Pantagra. purge with Shadow Demon. You can't purge an ally with Shadow Demon. And yet, if you so. No, you purge a bat to slow him down. And he four steps away. It's a Radiant's pose. top tower is under attack. That's when you Lincoln's the bat, so he can't force. Oh my god. <laughs> Just... that, that, that actually that cannot happen. Yeah. And here comes Radiant's the bird, they're going to take this tier one. Man. Come on, birds. Good. Oh no. That's fine. That's fine. You got a glyph. You're going to go back? <laughs> That's like shades of AI. Yeah. Can I write a book? Radiance Middle Tower. Fifty Shades of AI. Fifty Shades of AI. Only if it's Middle super hot. Yeah. I mean, AI is super hot. Here comes Initiation. Roshan's pretty low. They're gonna go on right on Shadow Demon. Not in the shadow no more. Always wanna fly. There's a Grave. There's a Disrupt. He's actually gonna survive through this a little bit longer. Meanwhile, the team should be getting Roshan. And they're trying very hard. Roshan is gonna go down. Where's the Aegis? Luna's gonna pick Luna's it up. got it. And now it's time to for... bail. Yeah, Moonlight Shadow's gonna come in. Oh, Hex just finished on Quap. Nice timing. Oh, oh, these the arrows do not connect. Um, ult he popped in the bottom. Run, please. Oh, two man coil. They need to fight this now. There's no running. The BKB silent is just wrecking. And the bottom line is uh, killing everybody. But oh, the BKB popped on, but these birds are actually making the bounces do way more damage. I think silent can taste the gold in his mouth. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's one way to put it. Yeah. Never taste gold. I never taste his gold. No. If you if you want to see if it's real, you put it in your mouth. Yeah. I wouldn't put something in my mouth that it's like on people's pocket or just like touched by. You people. can clean it. How? Like, would you put like a, a coin in your mouth? No. It's you, really dirty. I mean, if you clean it, it's yeah. If like, you clean it, how do you clean it? Like I don't know. Fairy liquid. Bleach. Yeah, bleach. I guess. Yeah. But I, like, wait, wait a minute. I'll bleach my coin before I can taste it. No, I've never done that in my life. <laughs> You're Shadow Demon is getting illusions of the Luna just so that they can push faster. Look at the damage of these illusions. Okay, I guess Demon now gets super healed. But does it matter? Not anymore. Does not. What can they do? The bounces are destroying them. The Swedish commentator shit. are going, oi! And it's completely correct, man. Nice dodge, by the way. Can you link away? No, you can't. That's timing on that screen. So it doesn't matter. He racks us down. Here comes a clean flat rider. Find Shadow Demon oh, again. Shadow Demon. Shadow Demon is gone. I mean, you have to go on a Shadow Demon, or else. Yeah, he does. Or else. He's got Hex in 15. There's a BKB. And they can, they can fight Koifa. Okay, BKB, BKB pops. Okay, no they're gonna get man score as well. No, they won't. They, he, well, no, I think Koifa just oh, goes just forward. Didn't... No, 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 he blocked it. He's got Hex, he's got Hex. Go Dazzling. in and Hex the Luna. So the birds are screwed. Dazzling. No, did he not? Deny. What? Okay. That was a little bit rude. I don't think it was warranted. I think he could have well, been a maybe, liver. Maybe the, they were thinking Weaver were coming and take the kill. Maybe, he can yeah, buy like absolutely. Satanic now on Silent. He's rich. Yeah, he's going for Satanic. And TC, on the other hand, he's not rich.
problem I see right now for Team Liquid is that they don't have a way to deal with disruption on their on the Luna. That's the problem. Yeah, that's a, that's actually the problem. You disrupt Luna, you send two Luna illusions in, and what is Liquid gonna do against that? I think when Bat gets a BKB, it becomes easier because you don't actually have to initiate on the Shadow Demon. You can initiate on someone else. No, the problem is Shadow Demon could disrupt that person. I think the problem is that they're 10,000 gold ahead, one rocks down. It's okay though, it's just a scrim. I guess. <laughs> it's not a scrim, man. <laughs> not for Empire. And that, yeah, like, that their core doesn't have much farm at all. Only 11k, 35 minutes in on a core with a Maida, so you have to take 2k away from that because it doesn't really do much for the Weaver. He do has 9k on items. That's do you think it's to do with the draft? Do you think, like, Team Liquid need to maybe change the way they draft or do some small things differently? What, what, what do you think is the difference? I don't really believe in change the way you draft. I oh, think. Illusions are coming. Illusions are coming. Well, every time we see Liquid, they always go, oh my god, them. Look at the illusions. Yeah. What do they do? They always go for these kind of one core. Well, in this case, they probably have fortified. kind of two. Well, kind like, of two? Yeah. They usually go for the one core lineup and they usually just get kited. Yep. Yep. I mean, Dyer's middle tower even with the Weaver, fallen. which is he just okay. does initiation, disrupt, disruption, and here comes the ultimate from Silent. Pops the DKB, starts doing damage on everyone. Jesus. TC. Vanscore oh, got annihilated. I'm gonna stand my pipe point as we see Empire easily taking these Raxus. He still has Titanic oh, up as well. Oh, oh, the, the bounces! bounces. <laughs> the bounces! Oh, oh, Team Liquid needs to win the early game. Dyer's middle barracks has Which, fallen. Like, go, what, what do you think? Go Dyer's for more roaming? How do you win the early game, Louis? Play better? Play better. Play better. But like, these heroes here can't really roam. They can't win the early game easier. Easily. <laughs> Okay, there's something that maybe you can change. Like going for the Abaddon is a defensive pick, yeah. and you're going to out, like hope to outfarm the enemy. No, 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 that wasn't a defensive pick. They picked the Weaver, Abaddon, Visage. That's a trial lane that could do a lot. Well, but, but they because they did Shadow Demon and Marana mid, and Koifa needed help. So there's two ways you play it. You send the help mid, and Koifa never dies and farm fairly well. That didn't happen because they miscommunicated, and the death happened regardless. But the demon was there. And the other thing that you could do is say, Koifa, just play defensive, take the take the hammer for a bit in the mid lane, and we'll win bot. That's not what we saw. Do you think that was the correct thing to do? No, I'm just saying, choose one and, and play well. They, they chose the first one, but they played four. But now he's trying to get a kill. Let's go, might die. Okay, that's something. And now Weaver actually manages to escape, but the damage on Koiba is huge. TC, Lansker is escapating me, please. GG, well played. And that's all she rolled, my friends. Team Liquid not managing a single victory in the two games today. Empire, on the other hand, they have been performing really well. Even though they ended the game with two kills less than Liquid, they managed to outplay them in every sense of the world. Well, I think maybe outplay is a bit strong. I just want to say.